How's it going, guys? And I'm going to preface this episode by saying that this was not how things were supposed to turn out. Um, as you can see, our base is gone. Our meat effigy is used, so I've got some splaining to do. Our rumble blankets burned down after a particularly nasty hound attack. Um, I seem to have glossed over the fact that walls that are made of wood tend to be flammable. And so I learned that lesson. As you can see, they're hiding in the hills again. The hounds are coming for us. Chester is dead. Uh, after the hound attack, I was attacked by like three or four spider queens at the same time. We are trapped on these islands. I've searched every square inch. We're like Robinson Crusoe. So, or if you want to be a little bit more modern, we're kind of like Tom Hanks. But we are more or less boned and stuck on this island. So, there's another hound attack coming. So I'm going to try and handle them one by one before they come in too rapidly. There we are. And this one I'm just going to hit in the face until it dies. Oh, he's trying to eat that meat. There we go. So that's another hound. I think that was the last one. That's another hound attack survived. All of my gear is laying in two spots. So for this episode, our goal is two ply, like toilet paper. So our, we're going to, in fact, that's going to be the, this is going to be Operation Toilet Paper. Because we have a two ply goal here. One is surviving, we don't want to die, and two is recovering all the stuff that me and Chester were holding when we were killed by a ravenous horde of spiders. And believe me, I tried to kite them all over the map. This was like a 20 minute process of trying not to die, so it's not like I went down, I went down guns blazing, I went down swinging, I hit the spider queen like 38 times and it didn't die, and then another one spawned, and then it was just ugly. So, these are the supplies we have for our mission, should we choose to accept it. Very limited, very primitive, and I'm gonna have to bring a backpack because I can't carry it all with me. So I'm gonna throw the backpack on. This could be it, guys. This could be our last hoorah, but we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it the old college try. And I don't think seven percent is gonna help that much. We'll leave that there. Six percent not gonna help that much. We'll leave that there. So the two places where I died. Dun dun dun. We died right here on this patch. This is where Chester died, actually. So there's gonna be a number of things to pick up from here. And then the spider queen spawned on me while I was up and over here. Two or three more spider queens spawned as I was running through here, and I died down here next to this area. So, our first goal is we're going to hit this little spot right here. And once we get our gear back, we're going to go back to Rumble Blankets. We're going to store it all up. Mostly, the only thing I'm really worried about is the eye bone. We really need that eye bone back, but Chester was carrying like 30 gold on him and a bunch of gold tools, so... Unfortunately, we need to go get those things, so we're going to throw ourselves back into danger. And then the second goal of this episode, after we get all of our gear back, is going to be to discuss the future of the Don't Starve Let's Play. Now, I understand the sinister connotation when I bring it up like that, but our island is bust. There is no th there's nothing else for us to do here, so I'm going to leave you with two options, and I would like you to vote down in the comments. So down in the comments, you're going to have a decision between respawning this map and giving it another go, which resets us back to zero. Which, you know, I would have no problem resetting my map if I kept my day's plate, and damn it, there it is. So, I guess I'll kill you. There's the spider queen down here, in case you didn't notice. And it looks like she despawned back into a normal web, which is good. But we need to kill her little spider homies now. So let's kill off all these spiders, just to make sure we have safe passage. And I believe... I thought Chester died over here. This is going to be very unfortunate if all of Chester's stuff is gone. So I thought Chester died over here. Maybe I am completely wrong. But if he's dead over somewhere in this region, our rescue mission is... There it is! So here he is. He died over here. His eye bone is gone, however. How odd. Where did his eye bone go? I wonder. That's weird. So this is all the stuff that he had on him. But his eye bone is missing. I wonder if it despawned. How strange. So I'm going to run up here and get this silk. And I'm actually quite thankful that it looks like... You see these level 1s right here? These spider queens after a while turn back into these level 1 nests. So it looks like they've all despawned back into level 1 nests, which is good. I'll come back and get my revenge in a moment by burning them all down and killing them all and slaughtering them. Which you can, hopefully you can hear the vengeance in my voice because I was really disappointed by the way things turned out. But we have gathered most of the gear we had on us, so that's good. And now we need to come down here into this little area. And hopefully the spider queens have despawned down here as well because 
they messed me up bad. Those spider queens, whoo, those things are terrifying, man. If you haven't run across a spider queen yet, there is not a lot you can do against them. I went through two log suits, two football helmets, and I was just beating on this thing, and she would not go down. It was a long, horrible battle. It looks like that little spider right there is going to come after me. And I would bet you anything that these are the spiders right here. Yep, that's them. They were the ones that ended up killing me. So let's take a look down here. Most of the food's probably going to have been rotted by now. We died somewhere in this vicinity, and I need this flint. When I got killed, it actually kind of reset me back to having nothing. And there it all is. Oh, there's the eye bone. It was in my possession. So we'll put the eye bone in there. We'll grab the ropes. And there's a tall bird trying to get frosty with us, so we'll beat him to death because we are not in the mood right now. And one hit from him will kill us right now, so we need to be very careful. There we are. So he's down. And now we need to contemplate how we're going to get all this stuff picked up. So we've got stale cooked meat that's about to turn over. We'll eat that real fast just to get any use out of it that we can. And then I guess we'll dump it. We're going to kill this warrior spider while it's sitting here because I don't want to deal with him right now. And we're going to build a campfire around which we're probably going to end up killing most of these spiders. So we'll get that laid down. There we are. And they're eating that meat over there, which is... Well, I mean, it's... It sucks, but what can you do? And they're going to drop more monster meat. We'll use that as kind of a buffer for anything that tries to come after us. We've got an extra spear up here. We'll grab that. I'm going to leave this stinger on the ground. I don't think I'm going to need that stinger. We do have two hound's teeth, which are pretty valuable. And these boards are pretty much... We can't do without those boards, so I'll cook these seeds so that they get out of the way. I'll probably burn these reeds because I don't need them. And for the rest of this stuff, we'll grab that cut grass. We'll turn that. We'll just burn that, whatever. And we want the tall bird egg. I do have a surprise for you guys. I, I <laughs> as, as a bit of reparations for all the things that happened, I was going to film everything that happened, but I hit the record key and my hard drive was full. And that pretty much destroyed that idea. So I suppose we'll get rid of some of these vests now. And there we are. I'm going to... We'll sit that tall bird egg right there because that's part of the surprise. I have been hoarding certain objects and we're going to have fun in our last episode. So if you decide on the Minecraft Let's Play, we're still going to have fun. I'll have one more episode where I run around messing around. But we are going to have to regenerate this map. It's not really... This map is not sustainable. There's not a whole lot of things going on in this map. This map is kind of worthless. We're stuck on an area where there's no beefaloes. There's not really any resources to be spoken for. But before we go to the next map, I was going to hoard a bunch of stone blocks. So a ton of stone blocks, a ton of wood blocks, a decent grip of food. And I have a red gem that I got from that hound that burned down our base that I'll turn into an amulet before we leave too. Oh, what? You want to fight now? You want to fight now? Let's do it. Oh, you're going to jump at me. All right, see, one hit. I knew it. See, he had that bulldog mouth and that puppy dog ass. He only had that one hit left on him. So we took him out. And we have a question of the night to discuss. And the question of the night is going to be your favorite flavor of ice cream. So along with your Minecraft slash Don't Starve vote, you need to tell me your... In order for your vote to count... No, I'm just kidding. Your vote will count either way. But what kind of ice cream do you like? For me... It's going to be chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm, I'm old-fashioned like that. I like it simple. I keep it simple. So chocolate chip cookie dough. Let me know what yours is down in the comments along with your vote or just leave your vote. Honestly, your vote is more important. And we're going to leave the rest of these supplies here. And the rescue mission, Operation Toilet Paper, was a success. So we're going to run back to base now and store as much of this stuff as possible. We got the important thing, which is the eye bone. The eye bone and the gold gear, yeah. The gold gear is useful, but I'd prefer to get the eye bone. I'm going to avoid waking up all these spiders because, frankly, I don't feel like fighting them. Actually, it looks like we've got a landmass over here. So let's see if anything interesting happens over here really quickly. And I doubt it will. This whole situation has just been a mess. Hmm. And that tall bird's probably going to try and attack me pretty shortly. Yeah, it looks like this is another area that's just kind of circled in. So they... Cly Entertainment, step your game up. You gotta give me, if you want me to survive, you gotta give me an island with the things I need on it. Um, I can't, I am pretty disappointed about the way the new island generation turned out to work. I was pretty excited about it in the first place, but now I'm disappointed because now that I know that you can't necessarily, you won't necessarily get all the things you need to survive in one island chain, it leaves me in a situation where I spend, like, what this Let's Play, we spend a good 10 episodes running around just to find out that all is lost and. Swiss Family Robinson is never going to get rescued. So, 
running back up through here. I'll probably mine out all these rocks up here. Yeah, that's probably what's going to be my goal. I wonder if I can bring Chester with me to a new map. That would be nice. Bringing Chester with me would be a major kind of... That would be helpful. It would help lubricate me actually wanting to try again. So now we're going to make it back to Rumble Blankets as quickly as possible. I apologize if this just seems like it's an episode full of walking, but the operation was a success. At minimum, at least we succeeded and we didn't die and look stupid. So let's go ahead and once we get back there, we're going to store everything up. We're going to take stock. And from there, we're going to decide what is going to be our next goal. Because I'm really not sure. But aside from that me that rescue mission, kind of that recovery from all the horrible stuff that happened while my hard drive was full, it leaves me in a spot where I'm not really sure what to do next. I'm at a loss at the moment. We have a lot of bees around. This is kind of turning into a children's picnic area. Just bees everywhere. And it looks like we've got plenty of honey, so let's go harvest that real fast. I don't know what honey stacks to, but we could always use more honey from the bee boxes. And we're back at base now. And that's going to go in there. And we, I don't think we have anything that's going to go in here aside from maybe spider silk. So yeah, we've got a little bit of extra spider silk so that I can make a top hat if need be. There's our red gem. I've got a ton of beard hair, so I can make another meat effigy as soon as I get some more cooked meat. What else do I want to store? So we'll take the eye bone, and we're just going to leave it here. There's tons of rot laying around, so let me collect that up into one pile, and we're going to put it up here next to our grass field, just in case we need to fertilize everything once more. There we are. We'll just drop it up there for easy access. Take a look in this chest. We've got sticky webbing. We've got stingers, so nothing I have in my chest or in my backpack goes there right now. And we have plenty of stone, actually, so let's take all this stone, and I'm going to refine it real fast into cut stone blocks, just in case we do have to generate a new map, because my next walls will not be built out of wood. Watching my figurative Rome burn was very disappointing. I felt a bit like Nero, minus the insanity, in that I didn't, I didn't enjoy watching my city burn down, so that was definitely no fun. We'll throw some of the luxury stuff in here. And actually, for the rest of this day, I should probably chop down some things. We'll throw the axe on the ground here. I've just turned this into a giant litter area. I just don't care anymore. I think I'm probably about to abandon Camp Rumble Blankets anyway, so I'm not going to focus too heavily on the aesthetics and making everything look nice. We're just going to try and get the things we need so that we can move on. Because our next island chain, should you vote for it, hopefully will be a little bit better. I've noticed that I can only manage around three Let's Plays at a time before I start getting a little overwhelmed with the workload, so that's why I'm leaving it up to you guys to decide what happens next. I think a Tech at Minecraft Let's Play would be a lot of fun. It'd be cool kind of showing you how I operate in Minecraft, but then again, deep down I think we all know that Minecraft LPs are really, really overdone. But then again, if they're a crowd pleaser, you can't hate on people for, for doing what the crowd wants, so if that's what the crowd wants from me, that's what's, that's what's gonna happen, so I will make a Minecraft Let's Play. So now that we have kind of just general supplies here, we have a bunch of boards, we have tons of chests, let's go ahead and, well I guess I'll cut this episode short, I mean, that's really the purpose of this episode was to do the rescue mission and to ask you what your preferences were for the next LP, so my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here today, I apologize for the short duration of this video, but I hope that down in the comments you will let me know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is, and also what your vote is for either continuing, deleting this map, jumping through the Maxwell portal and going to the next world, and doing another Don't Starve Let's Play, or B, doing a Minecraft LP, so whichever you guys choose is what I will go with. And so please, please, please let me know. Thank you for joining me here today, and take care out there, guys. I'll see you next time.